If you're one of those weirdos that just buys stocks to hodl them and doesn't care if they're overvalued and makes them more overvalued by hodling them, then you're part of the problem, not the solution. You are ignoring all fundamentals and, you know, this hodling makes these stocks more and more overvalued and then you got to find a greater fool to buy. So, yeah, if that's you, welcome to the family, ape. Yes! Listen, we got a lot to talk about. We don't have much time, but there's so much to discuss, so I need you to stay right there because we're going to be starting right now. Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If you're new here and you want to learn how to use stocks and options to make your portfolio go parabolic, make sure you start now by subscribing and tapping that bell so you never miss an upload. There comes a time in an ape's life when the ape can't sleep. And this is usually due to being overly excited. You see, when apes are overly excited, staring at the charts while the markets are closed, and just hoping that by some miracle the markets open early, well, you know, I, th I think you got problems when that happens then, but apparently I got problems, but these problems appear to be the same problems that every single ape has at this time. And uh, that doesn't bother me because I'm glad to have the same problem as my fellow apes because we will solve these problems together. So I reckon the first problem that we need to discuss is these shares that are now available for shorting. There's 1.4 million shares. The interest rate on those is 10.9% as opposed to 11.3% that it's been. And these shares didn't start coming available until about 11 p.m. today. So what in the heck is going on? Where do they keep coming up with these shares that they can just pull out of their anus. I've never seen so many shares fit inside such loose anal glands of any shorter before. Maybe it's because they got magic. Maybe it's because they're manipulated. It does not matter which one they're doing, but what they're essentially doing is using these shares as weapons against us. Shares of our very own AMC stock. When they try to lift a hand against an ape, when they use weapons or attempt to use weapons against an ape, well, we must de-weaponize them, so we must restrain them, we must confiscate the contraband, which in this case would be the AMC shares, to prevent them from further using them as weapons against the ape army, because that, in our ape country, is illegal, so we will not tolerate it, we will not let it happen, we will confiscate the contraband, and then we shall use these weapons against them by simply huddle in. And anytime we catch them with illegal contraband and them trying to use it against us, we shall take that, confiscate it as well, and huddle some more. And that's when the plan that they're trying to use against us and the weapons that they try to use against us, well, they really just blow up in their face. But allow me to illustrate, okay? I've got one example that should really paint a beautiful picture that you can place on your wall. And this example has to do with the mud dick fellas. Well, the mud dick fellas... They bought the AMC stock, $27.15 per share. That probably wasn't the brightest move for them to make because the stock was overvalued as we now know. You see, what happened was they purchased the stock for $27.15. That's a 4% premium tagged on top of it. And they bought 8.5 million shares, which would equal to be or equal out to be about $230 million. Now, I can understand I sometimes spend $230 million on overvalued stocks because, you know, who, who likes to pay attention to fundamentals when you're buying stocks? But these guys bought it. The next day they decided or they came to the conclusion the stock is highly overvalued. What are we doing? So they sold the stock, but these guys, and I admire them for this, they do not nickel and dime. They weren't going to taper down and sell maybe 10 shares here 20 shares here or a million shares here or five shares there no so rebob they sold all 8.5 million shares all at the same time and the reason that they did that is because they wanted to make a bold statement they wanted to prove to the world that they do not keep stocks after they come to the conclusion that these stocks are overvalued so they dumped all 8.5 shares they took a loss on them, and my reason behind them doing that is this. You know, if you get more money, you got to either have a safe 
that's really, really big or a storage facility to store the extra bills or you're going to have to pay bank fees for keeping so much money there, for storing so much money there, right? I mean, who wants to rent a bank account that you have to pay fees on for keeping all that money because it's so much money or at least that's what i'm thinking the situation is but i do not know for sure without asking those fellers but another important question that i do need to ask them is this if the stock was overvalued at 27 dollars and 15 cents well what is it now because now it seems to be at 68 dollars it hit a high of 72 dollars today uh i mean do i need to be worried should i be selling because if it was overvalued to 2715 and, and you know all those headlines that these guys put out i think citadel has a five percent stake in them that's pretty interesting too don't forget that but all the headlines read that they were overvalued and all that i mean so do, do i need to be selling my shares because they're like 72 dollars or 68 dollars and they could possibly get even more overvalued and i don't want to be hanging on the shares that are going to just keep getting more and more overvalued it's annoying it's very scary it gives me a heart attack almost a panic every time i look at my charting because my charties tell me oh my gosh you got some more tendies oh my god some more bananas popped up on your screen and whew, whew, it gets scary. I don't like to see that. So, guys, if you're watching, if you're watching me, my dick, what should I do with my shares because they're so highly overvalued right now? Do you recommend that I sell? Please let me know in the comments below and preferably sooner than later because the longer I sit on these shares, the more overvalued they become. And you know, I don't like holding stuff that's overvalued. But let's move on. Let's talk about options for just a second because we all know that the big, big gamma squeeze is coming. We've seen somewhat of a gamma squeeze in yesterday's trading action but uh, I think we're gonna see a whole lot more as a matter of fact they added new options and these new options are up to a strike price of about hundred and twenty dollars on the call side do you guys know what that means well apes what it means is that we're fixing to be moving on up and making a whole lot of bananas so let me tell you one other cool fun fact well 4.6 million amc contracts were traded yesterday what does that equate to well the number represents 11 percent of all of the options that were traded in the u.s options market yesterday that is crazy but now let me tell you this 233,000 of those options were the 73 dollar calls which is about $230 million in premium that's attached to it that's betting that the stock will rise about 30% by the end of the week. When's the end of the week? Well, that would be on Friday. And considering that today is uh, Thursday, I think that would be tomorrow. So by tomorrow, this thing should go up about 30%. I don't doubt it. I do not doubt it one bit because it usually normally goes up about 19 to 20%, maybe sometimes 17% per day, sometimes even a lot more than that. So a lot of people are asking me, well, is it too late to buy in? Because, you know, it's so high right now so high well yes we did get a brand new high yesterday and we didn't even use drugs to do it and we're probably going to do it again today because that's just what happens with this stock so no it's not too late in my opinion but i'm not a financial advisor and i'm not a professional advisor financials what the heck did i just say i don't know i'm just a dumb ape but i'm telling you this listen if you're planning on making money with this thing Here's one thing to remember. If it does drop on you after you buy, you do not need to sell because then you are messing it up for everybody. The whole thing about this stock and about this ride, this free ride to the moon and Mars, is that you hold on to your shares because we're taking away the weapons that the institutional boys are trying to use against us. And when they raise a hand or a fist or a share against us well we just uh discombobulate them by disarming them like i said before so you must pay attention you must follow instructions and you must 
do this diligently. And you must have hands made of diamonds, not two-ply toilet paper or even four-ply because that will not work if you're trying to trade the stock. If you're one of them toilet paper hand boys, well, you might as well stay your way at the kitchen because, you know, you're going to just get in our way of the real apes and we don't need you. And I don't want to have to take you out in the back and start whooping you with a banana. And I'm sure that all my ape cousins, brothers and sisters and ape family... They do not want to do that neither, but we will if we have to because we do lay on the floor in some uh, straw when we're tired. So that's what happens. But listen, this is just a FOMO rally. That's all we've seen so far. And if you take a look at where this FOMO rally has taken us, plus uh, somewhat of a gamma squeeze, then this should give you just somewhat of an idea of what's going to happen when the rest of the gamma squeeze comes and then when the actual short squeeze starts. Because these shorts, they're not learning their lesson. They're not getting any brighter. They're, well, maybe we should call them dumb money because their money is dumb and they keep losing it when they're betting against the apes. But according to some people, being an ape isn't always a good thing, and here's why. Well, they're trying to now spread FUD by calling us a cult. Are we cult members, apes? And if so, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to join a cult, run away from home, get a tattoo of an ape, and dye your hair pink, then please let me know in the comments because we are going to change our name to the Culty Apes or the Ape Cult or the Cult of the Apes or something cool. We can even have a vote on it because, you know, us apes have to make decisions together. But let me ask you one question very quickly before we get into the cult thing. Have you ever seen snakes on a plane starting an anaconda? Well, regardless whether you've seen it or whether you like it or not, this what I have for you today is much better. We're going to be talking about apes on a plane or something uh, related to apes on a plane. And uh, it's going to be very, very awesome and very cool. Watch this. What Charlie Gasparino sent us. He's in Miami Beach. He's taken the lead on the AMC story, attracting all kinds of attention from the Reddit apes, as they call themselves. So we said, you know what? Let's interrupt Charlie's Miami Beach vacation. And the story is following Charlie. Charlie yesterday was on the beach and a plane flies by with a sky banner that says, AMC, we love the stock to Charlie Gasparino, who has been kind enough to stop what he's doing, which I'm sure is is reading the Wall Street Journal and, and studying up um, and not playing on the beach and drinking, um, you know, Mai Tais with, with umbrellas in them. But Charlie, what do you make of this? <laughs> you know, I, I really love you. Only if, if I didn't love you so much, I would not be doing this hit right now. I just want you to know. That. So, uh, let's get, and, I, and I love this story. But, I, you know, listen, what, what do I make of this? It, it is... The most bizarre story. I mean, listen, in a, in a couple of years of bizarre stuff, this is like one of those, you know, sort of real bizarre moments. Um, let's unpack this a little bit. The CEO of um, of AMC, Adam Aaron, who I actually like and I've had a decent dialogue, says he wants to get to know his his new investors, all the, the Reddit crowd, the, the the apes as they or gorillas as they call themselves. Some of the least sophisticated investors out there, some some of them are, you know, completely noxious on Twitter. So he's getting to know them. As he tells me he's getting to know them, he's planning to dilute them, which is what he does today. As he dilutes them to a hedge fund that has cashed out of this stock on the backs of the Reddit apes in the past, by the way, we should point that out that Mudger Capital has done this in the past. Mudger Capital but does they do a refinancing? He dilutes them with Mudra Capital, and then Mudra Capital turns around and sells all the stock. But let's talk about why they sell all the stock, and uh, they sold all the stock because it was highly overvalued. Remember from our earlier conversation and what happened the next day? Well, uh, it became even more overvalued, so they made a very good choice. Otherwise, they would have made like seven and a half times the amount of money that they actually made. So, yeah, I mean, uh, good job, mud dick. At a premium because the apes came in and kept bidding it up after he, after they were diluted. Um, it is, it defies rational explanation. I would, uh, if, if, I mean, listen, if my view is, um, I would stay away from the stock only because there is a cult that's following this. And, you know, the cult is very bizarre and, you know, negatives are positives, positives are negatives. I mean, if you all just see 
some of the comments that are, that are made here. And I would just refer, and, and by the way, that doesn't mean the stock can't keep going up. I, I, I don't know if it can. I just think, you know, you probably save, uh, save some money and maybe uh, sleep a little, a little uh, lighter if you uh, just buy an S&P 500 fund and just play the markets in a, in a, in a, in a, in a diversified yeah. way that are going up. But I will. I How about the airplane, Charlie? Well, the airplane. The airplane. Just, I, just, my, my view. My view. That airplane was done. That, I tweeted out that I was here and everything. That airplane yeah. was there to send a message to me. But I will make one. One. Uh, one. Oh no! So this guy initially calls us a cult. He says we're cult members, we're strange. He calls us all these other names. He says we're unsophisticated or less sophisticated investors, whatever he says. It's really insulting, it's distasteful, and it shows what kind of a prick this narcissist actually is because he turns it all around to make it all about himself. He said, yeah, I tweeted that I was here, and they sent me this airplane a message from an airplane, and, uh, you know, like, message in a bottle, and it says, we love the stock AMC, you know? Yeah, this guy is a totally narcissistic narcissist that's completely full of himself and cares about nothing except calling people cult members and unsophisticated investors. One more uh, comment here, Lee. <laughs> uh, okay. you, know, you know, Jim Chano said it best. Why are the insiders, the management, like Mr. Aaron, why are they not net buyers of stock at these levels? Why are the insiders selling stock at these levels? Why did the chairman... Well, not, the, the, the not Adam. Wanda, Wanda Capital, why, didn't, why aren't they buying? Why is Aaron Adam not buying? And you would think if he had conviction right. at these levels, he'd be buying. And here's what I would say. The reason why they're not buying, if you read some of the uh, details on the financial disclosures that they put out today, he all but admits that the stock is overvalued. So just words of, words of caution out there on this thing. I mean, I listen, yeah. does that, no one wants to see AMC go out of business. Let's be real clear here. I mean, you know, people are saying you want to destroy AMC with the shrines. No, I want businesses that employ people. But the reality, do you think AMC is a $12 billion company? I mean, 16, AMC, honey. It's it's at 16 billion right now. If, if that's what it would be, the, the enterprise okay. value at 2712. Charlie, we got to run. But... I know you do, too. Go get yeah, me a I mojito, think. extra mint, light on the rum. Okay? You got it. Well, this is all making much more sense to me now. We've got a narcissistic narcissist and an alcoholic asking for mojitos from some other place in Florida or somewhere, wherever the heck this dude is that she's interrupting. She really ain't interrupting him about no stupid airplane message banner thingy that's talking about AMC stock. She just wanted to ask him for a mojito, and when she asked him for that mojito, she said, hey, you know, put some stuff in it, whatever. I don't know because I'm not an alcoholic like her, but this is why these people are so self-absorbed and dumb, and this is why they can't understand that we as apes, we are unable to read fundamentals. So how the heck are we supposed to know when something is priced right or priced wrong or at a good value? We don't, and that's why we have no choice but to buy. I mean, if you didn't know the value of a stock, would you just not buy it so you could invest in it too? I mean, we are dumb money. They gave us that name, but how ironic that they expect us to be sophisticated investors after calling us unsophisticated investors. And you guys think this is shocking and call us cult members just because we do not know what we are doing while we are investing and we like to buy stocks without knowing whether or not they're overvalued or undervalued? See, I did not know that. The first time I heard and found out that this thing was overvalued is when Mud Dick sold it because Mud Dick said that they decided or came to the conclusion that this was overvalued. And that's when I said, oh, Lord, this thing is overvalued. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I done bought an overvalued stock and it keeps getting steady more overvalued. How the hell am I going to sell it when it steady keeps getting more overvalued every single day?
Now I'm in a real pickle, and nobody can help me out. While I have you here, I wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new First Trade app, available for mobile or PC. The platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools, and allows you to trade with less restrictions, zero commissions, zero fees, and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money. This will greatly help out the channel, and is always appreciated. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you watched, make sure you subscribe because I put out videos just like this one every single day. And please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now, there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now. Or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left-hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end, and I will see you guys in the next video.